Good morning. My name is Craig Morgan. I'm VP of Sales with Applied Avionics, formerly Aerospace Optics, and we are the manufacturers of the Vivisun line of lighted push-button switches and the Nexus brand of avionics interface solutions. Until today, AirRink data conversion and pilot interface required a black box converter and a separate enunciator. Today, that all changes. Today, we are introducing an Air Inc. 429 to discrete signal converter that only requires a Vivisun enunciator. We are introducing a new single bit, single label Air Inc. converter that fits inside our standard enunciator, just as you see here. And just like the little one I'm holding in my hand here, now, even with the converter installed in the enunciator body, there is still capacity to add additional Nexus logic components and even switch poles in the same enunciator. So now for a few details on the converter itself, it contains no software, no firmware, and is considered an FAA simple device, not subject to DO-178 or 254, and while it is small and simple, it still has full design flexibility, including selecting single label, single bit, selecting transmission speed, parity check, and watchdog timer settings. Now we all understand the standard air ink 32-bit word is the lifeline of the aircraft. And many possibilities, application possibilities exist for our new converter especially in reporting on Air Inc. system status, such as the attitude and heading reference, the ACARS in the air data computer. But the primary application today, of course, is the mandate requiring pilot ADSB out system status. Now, it will be possible to complete some of the required mandate upgrades just simply using OEM modifications and using a standard Vivisun enunciator. However, other upgrades will require decoding air ink data. And that now is easily accomplished, as you see here in this schematic, using a standard Vivisun enunciator with a converter and our internal, normally closed, solid state dropout relays. Now this application has dual transponders and through an external relay reports on either an input failure or a device failure, both failures resulting in a separate discrete to illuminate the enunciator. So now how is the new converter certified and when is it available? It has completed full DO-160 verification testing and for the first time is scheduled this week to achieve mil-spec qualification as a standard part when it's used in the enunciator body or the uh, switch assembly. It is available for delivery now and we're working with several ADSB STC partners that reference our part numbers in their STCs. Todd West and Joe Stifler and Steve Edwards will be joining me in our booth this week, booth number 433. So please come by for additional details on the new Nexus micro air ink converter and the Vivisun Annunciator. Thank you. Aero News Network's coverage of the 60th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from New Orleans, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. It's called AirText Plus. The mobile office is now a true, cost-effective win-win reality. Because being available and part of the communication chain keeps you in control. Visit us at www.airtext.aero for more information and get started staying in touch today. Free Flight Systems is expanding its business into the Part 25 aviation industry 
through new avionics shop dealers, manufacturer partnerships, and STC programs. With a focus on the next-gen airspace and remote-mounted sensor systems, Free Flight Systems will continue to be a leader in the next-gen airspace. Visit freeflightsystems.com for details.